Hi guys, I'm Jasper and I'm a specialist here at My Art Broker. And if you're considering purchasing a Bridget Riley print, then here are a few things for you to consider. Bridget Riley was one of the most important abstract painters of her time. And she was born in London in 1931. She was probably most widely recognised as pioneering the op art movement, which began in the sort of late 60s. But before that, her early work took the form of, sort of post-impressionist styles. She copied a lot of Seurat's work from 19, and she produced works in 1958. And she later developed her style into a more of an abstract form where she was really using movement, space uh, to create these, these really lovely works. She, her work spanned over six decades and her most recent production was in 2019 with a print called Measure for Measure. The wonderful thing about Bridget Riley is she's got a much smaller body of work compared to other artists. So for example, where David Hockney has on average about 508 print productions, Bridget Riley has about 103. So what this really helps with collectors is they can divide her artwork into four main themes, most notably being works that have stripes, lozenge style works, black and white works, and the slightly rarer sort of wavy works. And collectors can navigate the market in a way by collecting works from these series. Alternatively, collectors can base their purchases based on the year of production that the print was produced. Alternatively, they can just base it on works that really appeal to them, which I find is, is probably the best approach. there is an inherent link between big auction results, maybe even record-breaking results that happen uh, for Riley's originals at major auction houses. And undoubtedly, this does have a much stronger uh, value increase on the prints, particularly works that look very similar to the originals. Uh, moreover, I think it's very important to consider that Bridget Riley was arguably first a printmaker before a painter. And that's very important, particularly in the blue chip prints and multiples, that there's other artists such as Lowry, who was a painter and he did produce prints after his death. But Riley was very much involved with the printmaking process, which I think is very important to consider. The Riley originals that go to auction, they sell for the millions. And by having a Riley print, you can own a bit of art history, a, a single piece, and the entry level point to, to buying one of these works isn't as steep as other artists in the blue chip multiple space. So why are Riley's prints considered a good investment? It's, it's a very important question to consider. And I think having spoken to a lot of collectors, uh, the general sort of argument is that it's been a bit of a sleepy market. And prices have really considerably risen over the last 10 years and continue to do so. And I think it's really to do with broad appeal. Uh, they, they don't contain references, contentious subjects like so many, particularly in the urban markets. And they have such a broad appeal. And I think one of the important things as well to consider is, is that the entry point is generally considerably much lower than other artworks. And it's, it's a really fun way to collect a complete artist collection of artworks. And then I would also like to say, I mean, to, to get some statistics in there, the average annual growth rate over the last five years has been 10% year on year. The sale prices have been steadily increasing and more often than not, many works that go to auction hammer for above the high estimate. So the Riley market's on the move, but as I tell all of my collectors, it's always important to buy with your eyes and not your ears. So generally speaking, there's, there's a huge demand for all of her artworks, but fortunately being in the position that I'm in, I get to see the real demand from real time sort of collectors. And there are two works that really stand out to me. And the first one is a lapse from 1981, which is an edition size of 260. And it's a great artwork. It's, it's like the all encompassing Riley. It's, it features the waves, which is so typical of the op art movement. 
And again, it's, it comes in at that really nice price point between 10 and 15,000. So that's one that really reaches out to me. The second work is And About, which is from a smaller edition size of 120. And I get a lot of collectors asking for striped Riley works, of course, because they're so famous. And this one is it, just a, it's a good size and it features some really wonderful colors, which again, has such a broad appeal to, to so many collectors that I speak to. So there are many factors that determine the cost of a Riley print. And I think for any new collector uh, coming into the space, it's important to establish roughly what the price points are in terms of getting into the Riley market. So in 2022, the, there was quite a widespread in terms of price points that ranged from £4,800 all the way up to £44,000. And generally the, the, the price points and, and, and the value increases depend on, on four main things, uh, rarity, Year, year that work was produced, condition, and also provenance as well. So what I can see, fortunately, at my end is that because the Riley market is much more established, there's demand for uh, the older works. So perhaps works done in the early 60s, the fragments series sort of springs to mind as being sort of the, the high achievers and the higher value works. There's also pieces that, that never come to the market, such as titled Primitive on Blaze or Movements in Squares. And again, these would command such high prices because there's just not many about. Uh, often they're stuck in museums or, or in private collections that, that don't want to sell. On the other hand, the, the, the works that Riley's produced more recently tend to sort of come in around that sort of 10 to 15,000 price point, and they usually are in much better condition. I know that the fragments, because they're created with plexiglass, often have condition issues, and, and the older you go to find a work, that there tends to be more issues. So um, those are really the main drivers. Of course, a work in, in excellent condition from a good year, let's say the 70s, uh, that that would command a much higher price. So what should a buyer look out for when it comes to the condition of a Riley print? It's a very important question. And moreover, I'm seeing condition becoming a much more important part of any collector's journey, whether they're sort of new or more established. And there are certainly, particularly with Riley, the, the impacts and the emphasis is really on color. And unfortunately, we can see fading of color when artworks may have not been framed properly or have been exposed to direct sunlight, that, that that's quite visible. Um, also that there's things such as foxing that, that will be quite obvious, sort of sort of brown spots on the um, on the paper front. But also there's things such as if the artwork's been float mounted, the artwork should be able to sort of cockle and move and with the changes in humidity. So these are all good signs as to making sure that, that preliminary the, the checks are in place to, to make sure that the artwork's in good condition. What we would advise is to take the artwork to a restorer where they can have the artwork deframed, condition report done, and if necessary, any treatment carried out on the piece. Authentication is such a vital part of, of any buying and selling of blue chip prints and multiples, as is for, for any original works. And there are the main things to look out for, of course, which is provenance, which can come in the form of gallery receipts. It can come in the form of the artwork being sold at auction and having all of these, these details, or whether it's come from the studio, having sort of evidence of this. Importantly, that there are places you can look for these, such as if the artwork comes with the original frame, you can always look on the back of the artwork to see if there's any sort of provenance details tracking the piece back to where it was originally purchased. But um, provenance is, is very, very important. It's something we take very seriously here at My Art Broker. So I hope you found this video useful. And if you are considering purchasing a Bridget Riley print, there is not a better time to get into the market. So I don't want any of you having buyer's regrets. So please get in touch if you are considering.